Another story that was, God rest his soul, clients no longer with us, was a guy I represented years ago, right? And he was the definition of old school convict, right? I'd been to up and down the coast, most prisons in the state, knew anybody and everybody. And and ultimately, right, his, his vice, so to speak, was drugs, right? So he would get high and would, in order to fuel his habit, would, would break into houses, would steal, would do whatever he needed to do to survive. Hires the firm on a, on a couple of residential burglary cases. Admittedly, probably two of the three, I think, were legitimately him. One was not even close, and it was offensive. They were trying to pin it on him. Because he actually had a surveillance video, and it wasn't even close, right? And, like, showed the deputy in the courtroom, and he's like, no way that's him. Show the clerk, no way that's him. Show, like, anybody in the world, no way that's him. DA's like, yeah, it's definitely him. It's like, you wake up. It's like, you got him on two. You don't need the third. It's like, what are we doing here, right? It's like, just admit you made a mistake. Your cops made a mistake. And let, let's call it what it is. So we're sitting there. This is the old courthouse downtown, Department 31, right? Which is, back then, it was the, the post-preliminary hearing readiness conference. So we did the prelim. A judge at the time who actually threw it out. A judge, a judge who's under a lot of heat, right? A lot of heat. Judge says, you know what? This is ridiculous. It's not him, right? DA still, oh, it was him. It was him. I was like, dude, come on. So we're sitting there. I'm, I walk in. In the old days, it was this like literally like a box. And you walk in and there's your client. There's like 14 other dudes in the, in the little area in that box, right? So everyone comes in. They think you're talking to them. It's like, no, nah, that's my guy right here. So we're talking. I'm telling them about what the deal is, what the outcome is going to be. You know, if he wants to take it, whatever. Some guy's like, hey, man. I really like that suit. Oh, yeah. Right? And, and no sooner than I turn and I'm like, oh, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Client, like, out missing the beat, he goes, what? And I'm like, oh, God, this is going to be a problem, right? Because there's nowhere for me to go. <laughs> right? All I could do is either try and, like, stay out of the way or break it up or whatever. Client looks at me and goes, suit? He goes, I bought that suit. <laughs> He goes, and I paid for those shoes. <laughs> and the whole cell, the whole cell oh. just starts dying laughing. It was one of the funniest mm. moments, right? And and listen, you know, it wasn't a moment to correct the guy and be like, no, you really didn't, but cool. Yeah, but it was so just funny. It was really cool just to hear that and just to have a moment <laughs> when something so serious and so much is at stake for an entire unit of 14, 15 guys in a, in a very tight space to start breaking out laughing at one.